Welcome! In front of me is a Lenovo Tab E10 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this tablet. Now, in front of me I have a locked device obviously. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. So, assuming I don't know that, I could use the Google account instead, but this video isn't for this purpose. Uh, this video is for people that know, don't know either one of those. So, um, to get started, if you are at the very beginning of the setup, you will need to progress through it a little bit. You can connect to network in here where it says connect to Wi-Fi and then back out to the license agreement and then hold your finger on the text anywhere. It doesn't really matter. There we go. It will select uh, some kind of word. Once it does so, you can then select share and select Gmail as an option. I'm going to select skip right here and then uh, add an email address, select other, and here you can choose any kind of Google account that you want to log in with. Uh, now I'm going to be using some kind of spam mail that I have, a uh, different one than the one that is obviously used for verification of this device. So anyway, I'm just going to put it in. Now, next, once you put it in, you can then select uh, set up manually, like so. And you're going to select exchange, the last option. And here, put in your password. Now, I'm not sure if I actually remember mine. Before I start actually trying to type it in. So I don't have to fumble around just to figure it out. I check what it is. Okay. So I did put in my password. Um, now I am trying to figure it out what's going to be next. So um, supposed to select um, select option, but. There is none. Oh wait, there we go. So we're selecting the client right here. And from here, I'm going to select a pattern. I believe we can select anything, uh, but in a guide it says pattern, so I'm going to stick with it. Secure startup, I don't recommend it, but it does actually say yes, so anyway, I guess we're going to use the secure startup because it looks like that's not an option. Uh, in any case, it brings up this page, so we're just going to select a pattern. Now, I know what the unlock pattern is, obviously for this device, it would have been this kind of uh, pattern to unlock it initially, legitimately. So I'm going to be selecting the basically mirror opposite of it uh, in this way. So I'm going to choose one, select next, and draw it again, and confirm. Next, we're going to now oh, that's a little bit different. Anyway, I'm just gonna this. Um, I am reading the guide as I go along. Uh, this is a new method for me, so I'm not doing it as fluidly as I would probably like to. Install, I guess. See what that gives us. Okay, so actually it doesn't really matter. Um, so the guide has additional steps that apparently don't really matter. Um, so in any case, uh, once we set up our screen lock, we can actually go back by the looks of it. Oh, a little bit too far, but in any case. So from here, we're just gonna jump through the setup. Skip. 
And what hopefully happened, hopefully because I'm not necessarily sure if it worked, is once we get to the verification portion of this one, we can then use the pattern that we have selected as, as our new pattern. So for me, it was this one, right? So let's see if it works. It looks like it did. So this is a common recurrence between any kind of Android. It can only keep one screen lock at a time. So from, from here, we can actually finish up this setup. Uh, but like I said, uh, Android has this kind of thing where it only can keep one uh, lock screen at a time. So if you, for instance, have a pattern, and like I said before, you could probably have selected password or pin and it would still work because it would overwrite the old one, the old verification method with your new one. So either password or pin. Uh, we have selected pattern. So we just had to use the different pattern in this case than the verification one. But like I said, the, what you select shouldn't really matter in this case. And once you select anything, it just overrides the old one and lets you then use the newly selected screen lock as a verification method. Now, there is one last thing that I recommend doing uh, for the actual bypass to be fully completed, which is navigating into the settings and performing a factory reset of the device uh, through settings. So you would need to navigate to settings, system, and then reset options and choose erase all data factory reset. Uh, which I would need to do once my battery is above 30%, so I can't do it right now. Doesn't really show me the percentage, but yeah, it looks pretty low. So in any case, uh, assuming your device battery is a little bit better than 30%, you can perform this. Now, the reason this is recommended is because there still could be some kind of leftover from the old account, and by doing so, you'd basically force the device to fully unlock itself. And that's why I recommend it. Now, with that being said, uh, once you go through the factory reset, uh, you'll be then presented with the setup screen, at which point you can go through it in whatever you want to. It will be fully unlocked at that point, so you won't need to do anything like we did on the video. So with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. Uh, might not have been the smoothest bypass I have done, but it still went through and wasn't necessarily that complicated. So hopefully you found it helpful. In any case, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.